Well, we've got a bunch of little babies in their outdoor run today. Like every day, pretty much. Um, after they're about a week old, I keep them in here all day. And they're only in their brooders at night. But anyway, these guys, they really enjoy being outside. It's so important to let them out after about a week of age. If you have a safe place for them anyway. They just run around, fly, jump, do all their little stuff, look for bugs, and take dirt baths. And it gives them a good place to interact with one another. Um, pretty much the more the merrier, really. And um, it's important to come out and socialize with these little guys, too, of course. Um, usually, just by putting my hand in here. <laughs> this guy's a definite alpha they'll um anyway just by putting your hand in here they'll they'll come up and want to be petted and stuff Oop, or just jump on you and whatever they love attention just as much as the big ones do <laughs> so funny they know their alphas from very young age. <clears throat> Especially this one. <laughs> Hi, Birdie. Birdie's one of the oldest ones that we have in this in this batch. We actually had a batch of about 11 that hatched all within a couple of days and we sold nine of them right off the bat and kept those two, the Winnie and Birdie there, the black one and the tan one. <clears throat> and then all these have hatched in the meantime. And then of course we've got a bunch of little ones in the house too that are not quite old enough yet. Ooh, good job, baby. Good job. It's just about time to... Pretty soon I start letting them out for about, you know, 20 minutes. Um, I just open the top and whatever ones jump out can pretty much get out like that. And <clears throat> they pretty much just camp up there for the first couple of days. I haven't really let these guys out before, so, but they, it's kind of what they do. And then pretty soon they'll want to go back in because the food's in there and stuff. But uh, they, they like to know that they could get out. Good morale, I guess. But yeah, this uh, this outdoor poult run is a, is a great, great thing here. So important to have. I can just leave them in here all day. It's covered on the top, so I don't have to worry about hawks getting them or anything, which would definitely happen otherwise. I um, watched one time a kite hawk come from that direction. It was a mockingbird nesting in this rose bush here, and it flew right into the middle, grabbed a baby, and flew off. Right in front of its mom, which was totally not happy about it of course but uh anyways i just thought i'd film these happy little poults today in the run winnie here's a big big little turkey she's very mature for her age very smart. Huh, Winnie? You are very smart, huh, Winnie? Very cute, too. These black and... This is a black and white mix. It's a... Um, it's a royal palm hen with a, a... A blue slate male. And, of course, it got the black... Uh, you know, genetic... The Spanish black. So it's basically a Spanish black with a royal palm genetic combination. Very, very pretty turkeys as they get bigger has uh you know mostly black with white highlights kind of the reverse of a royal palm which is white with black highlights very pretty <clears throat> this one here was exceptional so we kept her personality wise that is they're always pretty Um, they are 
שונים. They've been so crazy today. Most of all the males have been strutting and fighting, and I, they're not doing it now, but they sure were earlier. Full moon or something, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, though, I just wanted to film these little guys in their in their pen, just doing their thing. Baby turkeys are so cute. We really enjoy them. That's one thing I really miss during the winter and stuff is having little babies. They're so cute. All their little antics and the sounds they make and all the little, just everything, just about having baby turkeys. I love it. We've hatched about a hundred this year so far, sold the majority of them, but as you can see, we got a bunch still. I haven't put up any ads lately, kind of letting these guys get a little bigger before I sell them. <clears throat> we'll keep a few the friendliest ones. Since we breed for temperament and appearance, I keep the friendliest ones and the prettiest ones and breed with those. Anyway, I guess that's enough about that.